right, welcome back to the nighttime show. My first guest tonight is a group of students from Weathersfield High School who've designed a walker that easily and safely goes up and down stairs, which they've called the walk-in. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the Weathersfield High School design team. Thank you for joining us out here. Um, why don't you introduce yourselves? Well, first off, thank you for inviting us. My name is Griffin Datula. And mine is Charles Broussard. So, I think myself including and the audience want to know exactly what is it that you guys have designed. Basically, what we designed is a walker that goes upstairs. Yes, the legs adjust to certain heights of stairs using an actuator. What exactly is an actuator? Well, in our case, an actuator is a threaded pole that uh, uses a motor to make the legs move up and down to different heights of stairs. Yeah, I, I think I got an idea what this is, but let me just check. You've been to the barber recently. I mean, look at your hair. It's nice and short. Yeah, yeah. You know that sign from the barber, the one that goes down and up, and it can't go down forever. I mean, it kind of go up eventually. Is that what you guys designed? Yes, yeah. Basically, that's what happens inside the legs is they move up and down. So we know about the design of the, your walking at this point, but what exactly inspired you to pursue this project? Well, between talking to members from the Westfield Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, as well as members from our staff, we found out that, you know, Small businesses don't always have elevators, but they may have a small flight of stairs to enter or exit the building. And people with walkers can't really access that uh, entrance or exit to get into or leave the building. So it makes it very difficult for them. Mm -hmm. And our main inspiration for this was a staff member at our school, who, uh, Kathy. And she was first at the fourth floor, and then she got reassigned back to the main floor. And even now, because of her declining mobility, uh, she has difficulty going up the small flights of stairs that she has to throughout her day. And so we really wanted to find out a way to help this uh, person who is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, can we see this device? I think the audience and myself included, do you want to see how this thing works? Well, if I had showed you myself, it wouldn't do any justice. Like but how about some people who actually used the, used the device and liked it and gave us some feedback? I hear you brought a clip with you? Yes, we did let's, let's roll the clip. I thought it was awesome. I felt very safe and very comfortable. Well, the walk-in makes my life a little bit easier. I found it very easy to use. Just put it on the stair and put my hands on the two handles and up I went. And then of course you just click it and you can come back down again. Yeah, I liked it a lot. It helped. It was a lot safer than going upstairs in crutches. On behalf of Miss St. Laurent, who's out on medical leave, I'd like to express her gratitude for all the work that our students did in creating a device that would really help her with her job mobility. And much easier than what I was doing before. I was more or less crawling up them stairs. Now I can walk up them. Where the button is located, it's so easy to put your thumb on it. A child could do it. Wow, so much more to talk about. More with the Weathers of the High School design team in just a sec. Stick around. Do you want to be able to walk up or down a short flight of stairs? There's a walker for that. Do you want to feel safe while going up and down the stairs? There's a walker for that. And do you want to easily adjust the legs so you can then walk on a floor afterwards? There's a walker for that too. Introducing the Walk-In, the world's first walker that helps you go up and down stairs safely and easily. All right, we're back. We're here with the Weatherfield High School design team. Before the break, we saw a quick clip of them testing the device, and I gotta say, that didn't look like the cat that you mentioned before. Was there someone else you tested the device on? Well, actually, I forgot to mention that we tested the device on multiple people, including the person you saw, Johnny. Um, he's a staff member at Weatherfield High School who uh, saw us design and testing the device and really loved it. So people sought out. Yes, he sought out us because we actually have multiple people sought us out because. They saw the device and really wanted to use it because they thought it would be extremely beneficial to them. So Charles, let me ask you, what kind of results did you get from your testing? Well, we found that 100% of test subjects liked the walk-in. They said it made them feel very stable going up and down the stairs. There wasn't very wo it wasn't very wobbly. And they liked the idea and said that they would use it. They also felt that you know it made their traveling up and down the stairs quite easy. We had also tested it for a short-term use on one student who had broken her ankle. And she liked the walk-in as well. She also 
you know, proceeded to say that how it was stable and it did help her and how she did feel safe and it made her travels easier throughout the day versus trying to find one elevator throughout the whole school. That's fantastic, Charles. The walk-in is a fully functional, practical device that will surely help the people who need it. I want to thank my guest tonight, the Wellesville High School design team. Griffin, thank you. Charles, thank you. Thank you. For Thomas Productions, I'm Jeffrey Epps saying good night.